Sell all your crypto assets now, leave the market because this will only get worse. Today, I will tell you exactly what will be happening with Bitcoin moving further, why altcoins are dumping so hard. And we will talk about the Solana of this cycle, the next altcoin, the next ecosystem to actually replace Solana. We will talk about some comments that I got under the previous video as well about Sui, which is a very, very interesting thing. And we will figure out what will be happening with this asset moving further. Why this asset? Just don't give us any corrections. Without further ado, let's start. Here's our Bitcoin chart at this stage. Does not look great. A lot of people are very, very bearish on Twitter, on Telegram as well. This is just crazy what is happening currently. Essentially, from previous video from yesterday, nothing changed. I told you yesterday that I do expect for the correction to continue. I don't think that correction is over at that stage, right? And I am seeing two main scenarios for the reversal from here. I don't think we are going lower. I don't think that nothing is happening with the marketplace. I actually do think that we should be seeing all time high one more time for Bitcoin this month. I think that monthly candle for October should actually be a huge imbalance on the chart, on the monthly chart of BTC and actually be higher and larger than March candle overall. This is something I'm expecting from the marketplace. So currently I'm seeing two scenarios. We either reverse from there, from here, or we are going back to the 57.2K. Why? Because this is the level that we have on our magic indicator that no one actually has in the marketplace, right? So this indicator, one more time, it shows the levels for leverage loan liquidations for the asset out there, right? In our case, it's leverage loan liquidations for 10x leverage for BTC, which means that once we are at 57.2, 10x leverage loans will actually get liquidated for Bitcoin out there. So this is what this indicator essentially shows. So I'm seeing two scenarios and I'm also not seeing that like we are reversing back, altcoins are going down, the whole thing just dies. My overall midterm overview on the marketplace is new all-time high and quite a bullish price action to marketplace. I also do think that market won't give people something that they expect because everyone had this expectation that oh we will be pumping into the election, we will be pumping closer to the end of the year, November and December, they probably will be very very bullish. Well, we already know what does October do to people. They told you October, they will scream in you about October. We are correcting heavily since the start of October. I'm the only person on this marketplace who, who's consistently told you about $61,000 per BTC. I do actually expect for the pump to be quick and then we will be entering liquidity creation time frame. Maybe somewhere around the end of this year just to continue maybe in January, in February, right? But I do expect something like this happening, that majority of people, they are selling the assets currently because they're scared. They will not be buying back because they would think that essentially it's too late. And at the same time, they would think they would see prices going higher and higher and higher. And they would think, man, it's it's too high already. Like I, I, I should probably either enter leverage longs, right? And late longs, they will always get liquidated or just not participate at all because we are probably seeing a correction. And I would expect us to drastically, heavily, severe experience, like a large move up, very, very quick one. And essentially at the top, a bunch of people, a bunch of market participants, they, they will be capitulating and this will already be the zone of liquidity creation, if you understand what I'm saying. And in this liquidity creation zone, I want to expect a lot of movements from BTC and from altcoins that are performing nicely on the marketplace, right? Something like Sui, for example. However, I would expect certain performance from things that will be popping up on the marketplace. Some new stuff, some cable launches. So there would be time to make some money, but the bulk of the move will be missed by the majority of market participants. This is the core idea on this market. This is exactly what is happening. This move, was already missed right here. A bunch of people missed this move. The whole reason why this correction happened is because right here, a bunch of people entered late loans, LL, right? They entered LL and they took L and L. They took a loss, right? This is the movement to liquidate all these late loans on alts, on your Bitcoin as well. And currently, people are saying that, oh, we're going lower. Some people are saying that we should actually go and re revisit 52K. But interesting thing that I think you, you should do, you should ask them to show their shorts. You're saying 52K, show your shorts. I doubt that they will do it. I doubt that they actually have shorts. Genius people, 
they, they pretty much just shorted from here. They're sitting in shorts currently and they're checking out the situation. And as mentioned, a proper confirmation for us to move up is $64,000. But I do expect that once we would be reaching this level, prices for most of alts will be already high. So we kind of have to take the risks currently. And if you have some stable coins currently inject into the market partially at these levels as well. I do think it's nice area because this scenario is quite fine. Like, and your like worst case scenario, we are going down through 57.2. But well, this is the cancellation of the bull market. So you should not be counting on this. Like you should not be counting on this because people that were counting on this through the whole year, through the last two years, thus far, they're not at a very, very good spot, right? So this is the overview in terms of the Bitcoin situation currently at this stage. Something I would like to focus in this video as well is SUI. And SUI price chart is just crazy. If you would actually look at this, it does not give us any corrections. It's very, very strong during the current price movements of the marketplace. You can compare the chart of Ethereum. This is one of the reasons of why people are actually scared shitless at this stage is because Sol and Ethereum, they're actually just dumping heavily and Sui just does not feel anything, almost like. And one of the narratives that are there in the marketplace is that on 8th of October, interesting day, right? I have mentioned it several times already. On 8th of October, Sui will have unlocks, which means that vested tokens will essentially be transferred into the wallets of early investors of Sui, right? And we might essentially be in a trap when where they are pumping the chart in order to when we are at 8th of October, just give a bunch of supply to the insiders, to the holders, to the VC, so they will dump and when we will go on the havoc correction from there. However, I don't think that this is something that's happening. I think this is a PSYOP created to make sure you won't be buying because I was doing a video at $1.3 right here, right? The top comment, like this is the reason why I understood right away that this market opinion is actually wrong. The top comment, the most liked comment was, ha ha ha, so is being pushed for a week for different channels already. We know that the asset need to cool off after the pump. So we will probably not be entering currently, right? What happened? Sui did not give any corrections. People that entered Sui loan at $1.3 at the tops were up 50% and they will probably be up much, much more into the cycle. This is the goal of these assets. This is the reason that they're strong. And partially the reason they're strong is why do you think that Sui is surging up and holding the levels and something like Sol and if they're essentially dropping heavily? It's because people are selling from weak assets and they're buying into strong assets. I do believe that this is something that's happened in the marketplace currently. We don't have a lot of new liquidity. We don't have a lot of new capital in the marketplace currently. People are repositioning from weaker assets and buying into stronger assets. Partially, you might say that, yeah, they are buying the green candles. Partially, you might say that, yeah, they are buying the green candles. However, I still do expect for this asset and for this ecosystem to do very, very well. As mentioned several times already, I do think that Sui is actually the Solana of this cycle. I've said it in December of 2023 in my first video about Sui, and I'm saying it currently as well. The all exposure that I have to Sui ecosystem are meme coins. And unfortunately, I sold some native Sui meme coins that are doing very, very nicely. FAD did like five, six axes from the recent lows. Unfortunately, market got me out of FAD. I'm, I'm sitting in different things expecting FOMO essentially to, to pick up the things that I'm sitting in as well. This is Cetus. This is a DAX on Sui ecosystem. I know some people were calling it quite early, right? I'm, I was not calling it publicly. I was talking about this asset several months before, but I was not talking publicly. I do know that on Bybit, you actually can leverage loan this thing as well. But the thing I wanted to talk about is the strength that's showed by this asset as well. It's just crazy. We just dumped here to 0 0.15 and we already back up. Like you do not see this happening on the range of altcoin charts out there. And the question I think you should ask yourself, is the AL season actually here? I think it's here because we can check, check out the dominance, but it seems like the situation from the start of the last year kind of repeats itself. When, as you remember, Solana was the only one that was actually pushing higher with some meme coins, with some chosen ecosystems, right? But other things, they were not performing that well. We might be in kind of similar situation just with Sui replacing Solana at this stage, which would be just crazy. They definitely have the plans to push these assets quite 
high. And this is a very, very interesting situation right here as well. I said in yesterday's video that I do think that BTC dominance will essentially go down from here. And as we can see currently, short term, I'm actually wrong, right? So we have this week up at this stage. My overview is that we will be going lower. And the reason I said that people are essentially selling their Bitcoin on this correction and buying into altcoins was because initially through the dump, we actually went down, right? But after that, people became scared again. They started, they stopped believing into all season and they essentially swapped the altcoins back to Bitcoin. This is the reason of why BTC dominance is surging up. Some people on the marketplace like Benjamin Cohen is essentially sharing that we should be seeing 60% for BTC dominance. Scenario like this will probably put us in a larger amount of sideways price action because i'm not essentially seeing i'm not seeing the market doing very 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 well with this high surge in btc dominance over time well it might be if btc will just continue to surge to 80k to 100k and other assets they will underperform and they will lack right i would say that at this stage it's only possible if the surge up on btc would be drastic would be heavy or like it would be very very quick so no one would essentially have time to understand what is happening, reposition some assets and, and do th things like this. So this scenario is either us going into downwards, sideways chop, moving further, or essentially going straight up just for BTC. This is the scenario where I'm seeing 60% uh, might be top, one of two, right? I am leaning towards actually this one. If we are reaching 60% BTC dominance, I do think that the scenario for this is just BTC violently repricing itself and else just lagging behind because people will scream again, it's a Bitcoin cycle, nothing is happening, all coins are dead, uh, they have so many vestings, meme coins are stupid, no one is buying meme coins. Uh, by the way, I think if we will be in a situation like this one more time, I would expect alts to underperform, only select few ecosystems to do well. Uh, like uh, SUI and like AI most likely and meme coins to do well as well because as mentioned following the alpha on this channel that you received in February of 2024 the alpha that you only were able to receive on this channel institutions are trading meme coins through the software built by market makers like Godbit and others there is an option for them to put some money and through the software they do participate in meme coin game at that time I think half of all the volume that was generated on meme coins was already being generated by institutions. I do expect this volume to be larger at this stage. And we have a very, very interesting situation with essentially with the developers of meme coins and with the cable around it. Like I, I should probably uncover this in my next video. I shared it in our private Discord just today. It's crazy. Like they turned this into businesses. Like the way the whole thing looks currently, it's just crazy. And they just print in money. They have they have legal money printers and influencers influencers just they're just serving them. They're the bitches. They're, they are their slaves. It's crazy. Like these devs are the one controlling the world currently. And over some time, like over a year, in a year from now, they will have way more money than they have currently. And unfortunately, this money has been extracted from this space at this stage. So this is my overview for the BTC dominance at this stage. I do expect it personally to actually move down from here because I don't think that BTC will take a lot of time to reverse from here. The only way I see we are reaching 60% is that BTC is reversing from here, but alts are still down. And essentially BTC will be sucking up liquidity. What you have to understand and, and where you probably would want to position yourself into in case something like this will be happening is the narrative around BTC. Runes, ordinals, BRC20s. Because we would be seeing this scenario. And Benjamin Cohen was actually quite right several times already, right? If we would be seeing this scenario where we are tapping 60% BTC and Bitcoin is going to new all-time highs, it will 100% be sucking up liquidity out of altcoins. Meme coins will do quite nice. But at the same time, first ecosystem to, to pick up, like really pick up, would be BTC, Ordinals, Runes and BRC20s. We will have to focus on this ecosystem. It's kind of being neglected as that at this stage, which kind of makes me bullish on the situation that's happened out there, right? So these are just my two cents. So we went through the current market setup. We went through the BTC dominance. We went through the scenarios that I'm seeing in the marketplace currently. And we went through the SUI ecosystem and things that are connected with SUI as well. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. 
Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll be seeing you tomorrow.